Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 40. The big number 4-0. Unfortunately, I just did this, loaded in, and then I had a game bug. Basically, the game ended right away, saying the opposing forces are not close enough. Um, and I unfortunately saw where the enemies were. Okay, so this is important. We lost 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, with this knowledge, I, it's, I feel very hard-pressed. Okay, I'll just tell you. They were all in these two pockets. So you know what? I don't know what to do, but I, I don't know how to relay this information to like forget it that I have seen it. I did not send out scouts, so we readied them, and what I think I'm just going to do is F it. We have too many. Okay, so let's send out um, torpedo bombers and a fighter escort first. We're going to target a location here. And I'm going to launch that strike as soon as we can. We'll see what happens. Wait, I actually probably can launch it now, can't I? Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, the funny thing is, because I was really, really being particular about this, and... I mean, this is the funny thing. I actually would totally miss them with this search parameters. So knowing that they might be there, let's go ahead and do this. Let's extend the distance as well. I'm not sure if this will even fire. It didn't. I didn't understand why. It's supposed to have a fire at dawn, but... Good news is we're very close to port. Okay, there she goes. launching and it's raining oh my god oh, wait it's not raining okay so prepare to launch the next wave and we'll do the torpedo this and then a fighter so recon so people are getting ready for recon and we're gonna move this over to here we're gonna launch that strike as well <laughs> Naval strike could carry heavy load. Oh, yes. Change it. And we'll just move a little bit closer all the while. Let's see what happens. Will there be enemy? <laughs> I'm. No. Oh, what? Yes. Oh my god, there's stuff there. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> AA factor of 18. One aircraft damaged. Um, 30 medium AA guns at attacking aircraft. That's a lot. On side hit by torpedo. Two torpedo hits. Fantastic. I don't know what we've hit, though. Unfortunately, it should tell you, because the basically the planes themselves should have a guess. Another hit. And after this, we'll just go into port. We'll just have some fun. We'll see what the dive bombers can do. And then we'll bug out. Because I don't want to be too cheap. Okay. If I torpedo, and then more torpedo hits. Two more torpedo hits. These are. This is wonderful. <laughs> Those idiots, they thought they could lie and wait and surprise me. They can't. Okay, let's prepare the next load. Um, mission type. Let's look at the different mission types we have. Oh, they're already ready. To okay, so we'll just wait for something to come back. Um, it looks like they are in that other one, by the way. Okay, yes, these are dive bombers. And those are normal torpedoes. They're dive bombing an enemy battle cruiser. So we actually know what they're dive bombing now. So no bomb hits, unfortunately. Okay, two bomb hits on something. I guess that's. Oh yeah, it says battleship. So I wish it would say what the torpedo was hit. What what, what torpedoes were hitting. 
So this, does it say? Torpedo bomb enemy battleship. So I think that they are torpedo bombing the battleship then. Oh my gosh. The carnage. <laughs> and don't think for a moment that this doesn't feel really weird. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing is that I would have totally missed them <laughs> with my screens. This little trick. And now we're playing on information I wasn't supposed to know. Well, I mean, I guess the thing is, the game shouldn't really have crashed. <laughs> so what happened is the I loaded the game in. We I got the message that n nothing is going to happen because basically, you know, um, there's no... Uh, the fleets have lost contact, stuff like that. And after that, um, when the battle ended... There was no pop-up saying how many ships have been sunk. I went back out into the strategic screen and there was no USA ship sunk. I don't even remember. I, I bet you I didn't have any ships sunk either, but I really want this. I really want the ships to be sunk. <laughs> okay, so we have an option here. Now we can set them up for naval strike or recon. Got it. Okay, so if we want, we can set them up for recon, but we don't. I think I'm just going to be, I'm going to try to just be a little bit fair. I really want to see them more in action, but let's do it in a fair manner. So they did sink some more of my destroyers, which I dislike, but we'll just pull into port now and we'll, we'll call it fair at that. Okay, there it is. So end result is we did lose the um, Osvind due to very unfortunate events. And this is, this hurts. I have to say, losing seven destroyers does hurt. It's still a really overwhelming victory because we sank four uh, battleships. And actually, um, it looks like two more heavy, heavily damaged that got away. We did sink, oh, we didn't, we did not sink both those light cruisers, just one. Only two destroyers sunk too. So this is probably a result. I think the Americans were one of those who didn't. Um, so five, six six torpedoes into the Vermont uh, Massachusetts the 16 inch guns five into the Montana so she is 36,000 15 inch guns we have four into the Massachusetts and then the 16 inch guns um, it only took two but it took this is the one oh this is mine damn it <laughs> she took two torpedoes but basically she was, oh my god, flooding of 2,000. Yeah. She was doomed. She was hit by so much crap all at the same time. Impossible. Impossible to save her. So she actually took the most, she's actually worth the most damage points? How is that? 38,000, I guess that's true, huh? And the one thing I'm, you know, I just really got to be careful with these fire dragons is they only have torpedo protection. Um, holy cow! Five torpedoes! It only took five torpedoes, though. It didn't do anything except for take five torpedoes. But still. Lucky, lucky, lucky ship. 40,000 tons. I mean, damn, five torpedoes. So one of them was a destroyer torpedo. And then... Two... Oh, two of them were destroyer torpedoes. So one, two destroyer torpedoes, and then three, two, yeah, two destroyer torpedoes and three air launch torpedoes. Okay, well, I, I would normally probably be out of my mind knowing that something that was hit with five torpedoes survived. But because we were kind of cheesing the air combat anyway, um, I'm okay with it. Just let it go. It doesn't matter. Um, Minneapolis, yeah, so this was the Cincinnati. It looks like the Fresno got away then. And what else? I guess that's it. So no real other torpedoes except for yes, no snack could actually took some losses. So we'll just do, we'll call this battle to a close. 
It's a victory. Let's be happy. Um, yeah, I mean, we had one one of our battleships was in bad shape. So the four battleships is not really going to tilt things too much because it's only four to one. And it's three to one and three and a half to one in favor of them for destroyers, which I'm not happy about. But they were indeed all stuck in this little cove, which I don't like. But the AI just doesn't really do na uh, land navigation very well, I don't think. So we'll take a look at the other ships that they have. South Carolina, the Michigan, and the Illinois. These are, so the Illinois class is pretty good. 16 inch guns, 40,000 tons. Uh, the New Jersey, 37,500. And then yeah, here's the Fresno. So it doesn't look like they have very many of these North Wait, where's the rest of their fleet? Okay, maybe they're all piled in here, because they do have... I think somewhere in here there's a North Carolina class. Oh, there it is. I see, there it is. Okay, so here's the North Carolina class. It looks like, I guess they only have one of those then. They only had one of them in this battle. And pretty good destroyers. Six five oh wow. Six five inch guns. Eight above water torpedo tubes. Uh, we're doing about the same. Two quads. Alright, just scouting a little bit to know our enemy. A huge victory. Obviously the enemy gains a lot as well. Okay, so where does that leave us now? Holy cow. I just that's that's a big kerfuffle. We're still over base capacity, but we're definitely dominating them here, so let's begin our invasion. What do we have in invasion range? We can get coast, uh, Puerto Rico. Let's do it. So, how are our ships in the Caribbean? How are they doing? No stars yet. That's good to see. So... Ah, here we do have some. We'll pull the ones that have stars out and then just move them back as soon as that they're tidied up. So just go to Northern Europe and then come back. We're going to need some more destroyers, but I think, although these um, are really nice for killing other things, uh, destroyers, I think, considering that their ASW is less, their maintenance is... Oh, it is significantly... Oh, no, 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 it isn't. I don't know how to... I don't have an active... Excuse me, I don't have a one-to-one -one comparison. Actually, I guess I could just do it this way. So if we want to do older designs, um, let's sort by year, destroyer. The Suchlifa has a maintenance maintenance of 43, and the Tutenberger has maintenance of 34. So it is pretty significantly cheaper. But I think I'm going to still stick with these. Um, I like the fact that they actually have more torpedoes, and I do like the fact that they have, um, well, how many more mines do they have? 20 mines versus 11. So they have more mines. For being 400 tons heavier, yeah, I think, that, I think that they are the better option. And, of course, as we get more and more into uh, aircraft, aviation, naval aviation being the forefront, uh, having the dual-purpose guns is also going to be quite nice. So I think we'll continue to build the Suj Lifa. Uh, Suj Lifa? Suj Lifa. Hmm. Just... Uh, we'll, we will need to re replenish those losses. Okay, so let's end the turn. Um, we can secure... I'm not even sure if we want to try to secure terms. Those are all good things. Fuck with floatplane scout. Uh, what? We don't have any types in service? What are you talking about? I don't have any idea. Oh, I think we don't have a type in service because I obsoleted it since the new one coming out is going to be very good. I don't remember off the top of my head if this is fine, so I'm just going to cancel this. I think we have a pretty good one. Ah, she's even faster. Well, perfect. 
I wish we had gotten that message first so we could have compared it, but anyway. So we're still winning this fight as well. A convoy attack in the Caribbean? We do want to do this, yes. Since attack enemy ships near objective. Oh, we also got to adjust my aircraft. Damn it, I keep forgetting. So what do we have here? We have fire drakas and, ah, oh, an aircraft carrier. And is it like just about to become nighttime? No, it's actually morning or just before noon, which is local time, eight o'clock. So actually it is just plain and simple morning. Um, this is a convoy attack, I guess, because we have to sink two. We know that they're there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna scout. I'm gonna put on a heavy cap and I'm gonna prepare right away everyone for launch. Ready? They should be ready to right away. Damn it, they aren't. Okay, so let's leave one torpedo bomber. You don't get ready. So you stand down. Okay, good. Okay, good. Do not. No, stop. Yeah, ready. No. How do I stand you down? Stop. Don't do anything. No, do not ready. Unready. Undelete it. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well, I don't know how to do this, so. Could put him on recon. Nah, that's not what I want, though. There should be a way to do this. By the way, where... Oh my god, it has the coordinates for my last... <laughs> Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put this as our coordinates. And that's 41 away. That's good. So now we will redo this because apparently they were all trying to fly forever really far away. And we want them on heavy loadouts now. No, see, this is wrong. Oh, torpedoes. Good, good, good. They're on torpedo loadouts. Okay, die bombers. Can we switch what loadout you use? Let's use heavy, because we are pretty close. <clears throat> Great. Um, the fighter's going with light. That's fine. The dive bomber has a range of 121 on heavy. Yeah, so we'll definitely use heavy on those. Okay, fair enough. And now let's just... Wait, to... we'll get things ready. Cap is taken off. I think we're going to go ahead and take these off AI control right away. You are support for that. That's actually good. That's that's what I want. And let's move you into support role as well. What's going on? Oh, this that's the cap. Okay, well, let's wait to see when they're finished, how much more time they're ready. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I mean, they have to be there, right? So let's just go ahead and do it. A scout with seven, scout with seven, scout escort with nine. Let's send the nine, 14, and 15 and 14. <clears throat> this is a total of 38, so we actually can fit 13 still more on it. I'm not going to care, though. Launch strike. So let's get up to 20. We know which way we want to go. So we're launching the strike. 
We'll see if they get there. Yep. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, yes. Okay. So. We want to launch the other strike. Okay, so we want to keep them at more or less this range. It's fine. This they're definitely gonna they're gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, wow, okay, there's definitely a cap, and that means that there is definitely a carrier. Interesting. All right, Slickting, let's get in there and see what we can find. We want those destroyers to lend their anti-aircraft help. Um, to the battle cruiser. Okay, there, that's what we wanted. That's that's the thing that's gonna be difficult. So let's go up to squad max and let's put pressure on these right away. Okay, battle cruisers. We have plenty of sorties with our carrier, so I want to bring her closer. Definitely good damage. I still think there might be some carriers around here somewhere though. And where are they is anybody's guess. So I think we're just gonna plow through the transports. Ah, yes, they do have they do have battleships here. Okay. So that is good information. No hits yet. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? Focus fire on the damn... Oh, your secondaries are firing. Okay, well, I'm not going to fault you that. Okay, so it is battle cruisers versus battle cruisers, and... Frankly, we're pretty evenly matched. I think we have a 4-inch deck. If we keep this fight at range, we'll probably be at an advantage. So let's just keep it at range. All the while, I want to circle around. I do want to see if I can find their carrier. Okay, where are these guys approaching from? Hmm. We do have, yes, we have cap. This is wonderful.
just want to make sure that our cap is helping. They're coming in from this direction, so we're going to push that direction. We have an Alaska class. Hmm. We can definitely take this one. We actually hit the, uh, in all the chaos, we actually hit the Valley Forge. So these are good, but they're not, they're, I mean, they're basically on par with us. And I think what we're going to do is just wait for the Zug Spites to be able to launch again. And in the meantime, we're going to get going for the enemy carriers. So uh, one of the things which I didn't showcase here, but I think it's going to be interesting to look at, is the um, combat. So we shot down three, no, sorry, two of their torpedo bombers and damaged one of them. They actually did shoot down, surprisingly, well, I mean, not really with the way the firepower thing works for the game right now. Torpedo bombers are as likely to have more firepower than a fighter as not, which is weird, but... Anyway, uh, Ticonderoga, okay, so we identified the last one. Let me go look at that in a second. But basically, our cap was just doing a good job. So three to one, it's not amazing, but it's buying us time. Time where our only goal is to go find their carrier. And you guys are just going to squad max away. Go look find them. And this is the perfect angle for the engagement for us as well. As soon as these carriers, I mean destroyers, get out of the way. Are we speed limited? No. Uh, so as soon as these get out of the way, this is actually a really good angle for us. This, um, this angle, uh, this engagement. And they're kind of stacking behind themselves, which is not really like good for them. Let's take names off. aircraft. So more enemy aircraft are inbound. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Consolidated Wildcats. Okay, they're coming from the south. I wonder if we should change our church location a little bit. Let's stay close for now because we want we want to uh, what is this guy doing? Oh wait! Oh my God! There they are. Okay, perfect. So we found them. Still nothing landing yet. Okay, so Alaska. Let's take a look at this Ticonderoga. Hmm, good. So, I think we can win, even though it's a three-on-two against us. I think we can defeat this. We have to be very patient, though, which is not something I normally am. But, in this case, we're going we're gonna to try to be. Okay, so the ten... Where are the ten potential that are approaching? Oh, wow, perfect. And we know what it is, it's the United States class. We don't know the 30,000. Oh, interesting, it's a, it's a conversion. 9.5 belt, 1 inch turret. <laughs> It's 1913, so it's a really old carrier. My goodness. And we don't need to do anything with it quite yet. I'm not in a hurry to like immediately gun it down. I just wanna keep getting hits. 
Okay, so we dive bomb them. We did get a bomb hit. We got one bomb hit. What are we using? We were using heavy load, which for these guys, I don't even remember what it is. What is the heavy load? I'm just going to guess a thousand pound bomb, maybe? Maybe it's at 800? Uh, at least it's nothing. I mean, it's not nothing. <laughs> That's the good news. Hit an AMC, which is not important. Okay, good. So we can start getting these guys loaded out again. Let's ready them. Die Forge hit. And uh, hit the hole, but we didn't take any damage from it. I'm going to turn a little bit more northward. any point, if we want, we can always send our destroyers in if we feel like we're not getting the battle that we want to get. Ooh, wow, they're targeting the light cruiser. Let's get her out of the way. Things are not going extraordinary for us, unfortunately, but... Let's ready up these guys as well. We know what we want to do. We want to attack these guys. Okay, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. we started landing. We started landing some hits. Alaska. There's one turret disabled. That one has a turret disabled. And Valley Forge is pulling off? Oh, ho, ho. our torpedo bombers are approaching the enemy ships. Fantastic. And couldn't be a better time for it as our... Frederick de Grossa has just taken a, a rudder hit, and she's jammed starboard. Damn it, I was going to say, hopefully, straight ahead. She's going to peel off to the right, and better than being jammed port. This might be the time where we have to go in. We also know that, uh, yeah, I mean, this has got to be the time we go in, because we also know that our torpedo bombers are going in. So, squad max, which is already 26. Okay, fine. fair enough. And start making our move in. Squad Max. Max. Okay, so Alaska's hitting her darn light cruiser. Kinda real good. Looks like she might be having some problems. Here comes the torpedo bombers. Oh, boy, not a good turn for us. Turn away. Two adjacent turrets damaged. You gotta be shitting me. How often does that happen? Pardon my French. Holy cow, man. The f kind of luck do I have? Look at. I mean, numerically, these match up very well against each other. Nine 16-inch guns. Thirty-eight thousand. Versus an Alaska, which is 39,000 tons, but has the extra speed. That's basically where the extra displacement went. Eight 16-inch guns instead of nine. I mean, what? Uh, why are we getting so unlucky? Well, we'll see if the air situation can level that out. Otherwise, well, we know where their carrier is. That's the main thing. I don't know what this Valley Forge is doing, but... God, this is not good. We do need to break off this. Send in the destroyers, so begin our smoke screens. Um, we might be able to launch at the Alaska. No solution, okay. So not yet is the report. I'm not gonna send her in because she's slower than those battle cruisers, so. Oh my god, that might be the, the carrier. Another carrier is further north. Or it might be another carrier. Oh. Yeah, it is. It said that we just torpedoed the enemy carrier. Enemy CV! 
and we torpedoed it. This is like, I, <laughs> because the battle is going so poorly for me over here, I, I'm not reacting nearly strong enough to the fact that we may have just torpedoed an American carrier. Our one carrier is fighting, I think, against two carriers. I think that's my, that's my guess at this point. And where is this happening? Okay, so just east by southeast of the red dot. Kind of want to put like a marker in my head. Halfway between me and the... Well, anyway, we want to launch our attack. Nobody's ready yet. Okay, fair enough. So we just have to remember this position and go back to it. Oh, we got her again, which was a uh, light carrier. This is amazing. And actually, just because I complained about luck, apparently, uh, we are actually starting to land some good hits. Well, we landed one 16-inch hit on the Alaska. Didn't do anything too serious, but our destroyers are approaching. So I think we peel back this way. And if they pursue, we will just launch our torpedoes. Okay. They are still pursuing. We're now screening the Frederick de Grossa, which is good since she's spinning in circles. That's not, not very easy to get an accurate firing solution from that position. How we doing? Okay, we have some which are not ready. I'm going to leave them unreadied. Let's not give our engineers anything else to do for now. All we want you to do is... I, I think this is a bug that I can see those guys still. Um, all I want you to do is ready those airplanes, prepare them for their strike. And we're launching torpedoes. I want to hold as long as possible until I launch all of them. Yeah, we have none of our forward firing guns work, so we're just gonna go run away. <laughs> it's run away mode now. And that's some good torpedoes. Those look like some good ones. Actually, the Frederick de Grossa, trying to contribute to her uh, friend's success, she has gotten some good shots off on the on the Tycho over here. Okay. I'm gonna have these guys not launch torpedoes just yet because I want to have them wait until we see what the result is from the first few waves. So yeah, this is actually quite good. We have landed some more six, another 16 shell on the Tycho. Does that mean the Frederick de Grossa doesn't have a rudder jammed? No, it's still jammed. You guys are probably out of torpedoes. Not yet. Okay, well, keep launching. That's what I say. Oh, might they all miss? Got one. Oh, the Tycho might actually, actually take some hits here. So we'll pull in. We'll go full steam ahead at the Tycho. So far, they've only hit... Well, no, they have. They have hit this one medium hit yeah but this this group's job is done in fact we want them to be aiming only at the Tycho at this point since the Alaska is probably gonna get away but we'll force the Tycho to do something we'll pull away just as these guys weave through Bob and weave Bob and weave we are better off at a distance anyway so we'll just retreat Alaska hit again fantastic um, and these guys are coming through on the Tycho. Let's, let's give her hell. She's going to have a problem because no matter what she does, no matter which way she goes, she has somebody to deal with. So two on the Alaska. Look, I'm not going to say that that's going to sink her, but it should shift the firefight in my favor, which is normally what I'm going for. And the good news is here, if the Tycho continues her turn, I will have a broadside available 
from my other ship. Have you righted yourself? You have. So we'll get you to head south. Oh, we do have the Valley Forge coming back in as well. That's going to complicate things. Is our strike ready? What did they report anyway? No, yeah. We'll probably have to do it manually still. So you are ready. We have... Ah. Only... So how many more minutes? How many more minutes on this video? Aha. Uh -huh. Not too many. Readying. Spotted. Readying. Readying. Three more minutes until they're ready. Okay. That's fine. We will wait three more minutes as the cap gets put up. And we're kind of outrunning our cap too, which is not, not ideal. Ah, darn it. So that she actually did outmaneuver us. I think. Yeah, she's turning all the way. She's gonna... We'll have to get her with the, the Zethan at the very end here. So we'll pull this group back. They weren't able to launch in the end, but it looks like it's gonna be a victory for us anyway because all this has really impeded her ability to fire well. And we should have a chance to line up a torpedo shot here as she finishes her turn, just as the Frederick de Grossa continues to blast her. That's the turn we want right there. I'm gonna wait one more minute because it's, it's just so valuable every little minute. Just get a little bit closer. There it is. Okay, so she took her, she took her licking. And now it's time to get out of there. Pressure to gross it. God, stop destroying my damn turrets. These things are freaking 14 inch turrets. They have 10 and a half inch turrets. They have 10 and a half inch turrets. Oh, my brain, my brain. Help me, help me, help me. It's going to be all right, Tortuga. We're doing very well in the first carrier versus carrier engagement that I think that we've had in this series. We're really right outside of Puerto Rico, too. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. So, I, I mean, I don't think that those torpedoes are even going to hit, unfortunately. God, why? They are really wrecking my damn ships, though. I'm not happy about it. Okay, get out of here. Frederick de Grossa had a fire started, because, you know, why not? <laughs> RNG just loves to hate me. I'm sure it's observation bias, and we actually do have plenty of fortunate, very fortunate moments. But in the moment right now, it does not feel that way. So we have the two that are ready to go. If I want to launch this, though, I have to launch it blind. Okay, well, I think we can just kind of hedge our bets and launch here. They should pick up something. So we're going to leave you. We're going to have you limp on out. You will be valuable later with torpedoes if, um, well, if, if, if it comes to that, really. Oh, she might actually get it. Oh, power disabled. Not good. Got her. Oh, we got her. One hit. That's all we needed to make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Trying to get these guys um, grouped back up together because they will support each other well when it comes to... Um, uh, AA. So one of the things we also want to do is make sure to make our way over to the light carriers and see what they're doing. Another 16 inch hit. Okay, electric power just restored, so let's get her back up to squad max and get her out of here. So at this point, both of these ships may be going much slower, and the G86 is going to try to take advantage of that. Okay, we don't want it, We don't need to sink every single one of them, but just doing any kind of damage is going to put us in a better position. 
And I'm going to make the command decision here that my lone escort is going to be taken off duty and sent in to help. We do also want to make it easier on our carrier. I forgot about that, but we, do. we don't want to stretch the cap so far, which we unfortunately have already done. Let's move south. So far, she's made it without taking any hits. I just have no idea how much damage we've done to these guys, and I don't suspect we've done that much. So this is the sighting of, yeah. That's a 1539, so that was actually pretty recent. Okay, near miss. It's probably the sign that we need to <laughs> launch and get out of here, but... I don't care. If we push them further west, that's fine. We're just pushing them into the flight path. So I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna head south and try to basically do exactly that. Frederick de Grossa hasn't, it doesn't seem like she's long, uh, even attacking. Okay, we'll turn her south as well because we, again, don't wanna have this bad situation with the, the cap. We wanna move closer to our cap. Should it matter? Oh, unidentified ship. That's the carrier. Is she moving? She is. Okay. Belt hit. Medium gun. How is she? How are you doing? You're not gonna live through another couple of those, I know. But for now, it's so like we have this cap just flying in between. <laughs> Did you already launch? Okay. Definitely get these guys ready. And you're just going to steam right ahead. Good. So Alaska's firing at us. She does have us traveled. She fired only two shells, though. Grossa, you need to come back in as well. I don't know what's up with the Valley Forge either. Why she's going so slow. Maybe an electrical power, you know, failure. Alright, I'm going to pull you off because they are going against, you know, the wrong way essentially. So I'm just going to try to group our forces up. Make sure we live. 47 minutes. We're probably not going to be able to finish this episode. Uh, this battle in this episode. By the way, have we... Oh, we're finally taking off now. That's the returning naval strike, so our next naval strike is still slowly getting there. Oh, God. So they're turning back now. This is... Oh, boy. They are going to turn back. No, they're, they're waggling. Okay, get out of there. Good, that's that's better. That's a good line. We want to move actually up here. This is probably going to antagonize the battle cruisers. We don't want to antagonize them, but I don't know. How do we do this? Okay, this is probably okay. We'll just let our... Oh, damn it. Anything happened again! <laughs> they destroyed two turrets again. <laughs> just to make me mad. <laughs> well, with those parting blows. Uh, we'll wait for our naval attack, which is now underway, I think. Is it? Ah, they're still, they're still preparing. They have two minutes left. So, we'll call this video to a close here. We'll get to that in the next video. It's been chaotic. This has been one hell of a battle. We'll see how we do in the, uh, in the next video, which should be bring this first carrier versus carrier battle to a conclusion. I mean, I guess there was the light carriers earlier, so we kind of had one, but this is the first one that really matters to me. So anyways, until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.